Hey there fitness warriors, this is the mighty Singh Romy Gill. In this episode, we're going to talk about a cleansing mix. We all eat junk food every day and all this stuff makes our body acidic. Our blood pH level, that's a measure that measures how good, how acidic your blood is. So we have to keep the blood acidity level down to 7.3 pH level. So normally you can do a bunch of things to cleanse your body, but I'm going to talk about the natural method that you can use to cleanse it. It's not very hard. All you need is a few things. So what we need is green limes. It's really spicy hot chili peppers. Now I got a big one. Normally you can find something about this. It doesn't matter as long as it's green. And this lime should be green as well. And then some ginger because ginger has health benefits to cleanse your body as well. And other thing we need is natural maple syrup. Don't get the maple syrup that's not natural because this one is better for you. So that what you need to do is, so now you got the ingredients, so all you need is a little bit of filter to uh, pour your body, uh, pour your juice into the jug. And it's good to have a couple of jugs handy. So this process is very simple. Normally what you need to do is you can put this in a mixer blender and then blend it. And your mix turns out to be something like this. I've done this with ginger and put some water in it, put it in. Normally you will leave it overnight so water soaks up all the nutrients from ginger because we're going to filter it out and you're going to be left with just the liquid. Do the same thing with these. If you're like me, a little bit lazy, you can also chop them into small pieces and leave them in water overnight. So when you leave stuff overnight, water sucks up all the spice out of and nutrients out of that uh, whatever vegetable we're, we put in the water. So I've done this. So when you filter out ginger, it looks like this. Then you can do the same thing with your hot water too. Now normally you gotta be very careful with hot water. You don't wanna mix it directly if you're um, sensitive to spice. You can keep it separate in a separate jug. When you're drinking it, just take one tablespoon out of this mix and half cup from there and then drink it. But I'm gonna mix it because I'm a warrior. Let's do this. Then do the same thing with ginger. Normally you want to start with about 10 green limes. That's uh, You can go up to 30 and keep it for 5 or 6 days. Normally if you make it for too long, since this is all natural, your mix goes bad. So if you only want to make stuff that you're going to drink it and and when you're done, go and get a new one, make new one. So the process is very simple. Take something to squeeze your lime with, put it in the jug, then you're done. Now there's multiple ways to squeeze lemons, you can use your hands or you can use anything else that helps you squeeze juice out of lime. So then we have this. Next thing you want to do is, once you squeeze about 10 of these, you'll have about this much liquid. Then you'll have ginger. Now you can, I usually use estimates of how much stuff I'm going to use, how much ginger I'm going to use. So just about 300 or 400 grams is enough for a half a pound, 500 grams. So take a rough estimate, something like this is good enough for one time. If you put it, put more in there, it's not going to hurt you, it's only going to help you. So that doesn't matter. And I use about 10 of these per, so one lime, one chili pepper, that's a good mix. If you're allergic to it, sorry, if you're allergic, you don't drink it, but if you're sensitive to it, then keep the, the spice mix separate and then mix it while you're drinking it. And then when you put everything together, fill the rest of the jug with water so it tops up to here. Now you have a mix, that's your base mix that you need 
for your cleansing. This brings your body's alkalinity. Uh, it brings makes your blood more alkaline, so your acidity down. And per ten, you're gonna use about two teaspoons of natural maple syrup. Mix it well, and we have that ready. So, this is something similar to Master Cleanse. I'll just add some more some chili peppers to it. And so now your base mix, your base drink is ready. When you do a cleanse, you want to do it for at least three days. So cut out all the sugars and all the salty food from your diet. No junk food, no fast food, no ice cream, no chips. So only three days, three days is not going to kill you. So after you're done, you'll feel much better. Other things you can have with it is anything that's green, naturally available, raw vegetables. You can have cabbage. Other items that are really good is broccoli, cucumbers. You already know I'm a big fan of cucumbers and tomatoes because they're, they taste good. That's what it comes down to. And we have beets, and you can have different color grapefruit, that's really good also. It gives you some carbs and it doesn't make you feel full or doesn't give you too much extra sugar. And then you can have kiwi fruit, you can have peppers and papaya. Papaya gives you energy as well as so does the beet. So now you have the whole mix. All you want to do is, when you're ready to drink your mix, just pour about that much water and you can top it up with, this is how much mix you want and then you top it up with water. Sometimes this is really uh, bitter or sometimes it's really sour, so you want to test it out, you can add more water to make it taste good. So when you drink it, you feel something like this, I'm going to play a character from a movie. It's going to energize you or rock you because it's so spicy. You'll be like, oh, I have the power. I'm the master of the universe. And then you end up looking at your hand. You just have a pepper in your hand. Anyways, so there you have it. If you have any question, feel free to comment on this video or message me directly on Facebook or visit my website, it's going to be live soon. You're right to be fit. Thank you.